Hey there, so someone asked how I managed to do the Cad Bane sound effect, so I thought I'd just create this quick little video. As you can see here, I've already got a brief little recording. Let's just quickly play that one. A lot of which is mainly just playing around with it and doing a lot of trial and error. Gotta see how these things work out after all. Never too sure what the end result's gonna be. So, as you can see, I already kind of got close to the voice, and after that, once I've cleaned that up a little bit, I always make sure to create a copy of things. That way, if I like the original better, eh, I can just restart. So take that, create a copy. So with the second copy, what you're going to do is you go to Effect and you go Change Speed. We're going to drop this down to negative 90. Stretch that one nice and out. Give that a moment to load. Might just cut it here. And then I'll play it again once it's reloaded. Okay, cool. So. That's gone and slowed itself way down now. So plain and simple, you grab that, and then we're just gonna head all the way down here into, there we go. Uh, I like to go sign for this one, strictly for the fact that, I don't know, it just sounds better. I did a few tests on the other settings there, but yeah, set these all the way to max it out, hit okay, Do -do 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 -do. that'll change the effect. Now pretty much we just go back to change speed once again. And I'm going to bring this up to about, mm, let's go just, yeah, 100 for now. I'll change it up. You're pretty much now just speeding it back up to match with your original audio. So control R to repeat the action. Do it again. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Oh, that was too far. And it's just a matter of getting it to actually match with the speed. So, okay. So now that it's matched up, it's pretty damn close. Let's give that a listen just on its own. A lot of which is mainly just playing around with it and doing a lot of trial and error. Gotta see how these things work out after all. Never too sure what the end result's gonna be. All right, that's pretty damn close and solid. Now, this is just a little thing that I like to do as well. I unmute my original, I drop this down, maybe about negative nine or so decibels, and then play that together just to make sure that I'm extra clear and can be heard. A lot of which is mainly just playing around with it and doing a lot of trial and error. Gotta see how these things work out after all. Never too sure what the end result's gonna be. All right, and that's it. Super simple, super fast, easy done. All of this is done in Audacity, no mods, just give it a go and uh, yeah, hopefully this helped.